Good morning, Ridgewoods High School. I'm Mr. Morrison, Assistant Principal over the freshmen. I'm Miss Adamo, Assistant Principal over the sophomores. I'm Miss Andrews, Assistant Principal over the juniors. And I'm Mr. Poles, Assistant Principal over the seniors. Welcome everybody to our grade level meetings. What we're doing today is just to get everybody ready. We've had a good start. We want to make sure we keep having a good start. So we want to go over some things that everybody needs to do this year to have a great successful year. And with that, Ms. Adamo. All right, the first thing that we are going to talk about is credits. For every class that you pass, you receive 0.5 credit. So every year you can get up to seven credits. In order to move on to the next grade, you have to have six credits for a sophomore, 12 credits for a junior, 18 credits for a senior. In order to graduate, you must end with 24 credits. If at the end of the year, you do not have the correct credits to be that grade level, you will still be labeled the previous grade level. So if you are a freshman and you end your year with five credits, the next year you will still be considered a ninth grader. Ms. Andrews is going to talk about dress code. All right, here are your dress code reminders. Students should not wear low cut shirts, midriffs, shorts that don't fully cover your bottom, sagging pants, cut off shirts, see through shirts. Students violating the dress code will receive a phone call home and will be asked to change. Continued infractions will lead to further disciplinary actions. Mr. Poles? All right, some general reminders, guys. Remember, you only have one lunch. It's either A, B, or C. Not all of them, only one. Masks must be worn covering the nose like this and the mouth. We also, remember, have a closed campus. You can't leave and come back. Remember that when you leave campus without permission, that's a suspendable offense, so you need to be where you need to be. Also, remember, no outside food. No DoorDash deliveries, things like that. We've got great food here at Richwoods. You can bring it, we serve it to you, but come enjoy it. As we've already experienced, uh, sweeps will happen periodically throughout the day. If you are in the hall after the bell has rung and a sweep announcement has been made, get a sweep pass from the AP or SRO in the hallway. All right. Sweep equals 30 minute of mayor hall after school. Now, Ms. Adamow, about discipline. Okay, I'm going to speak about our discipline policies and procedures here. Each grade level has a different AP. Mr. Morrison is over the ninth graders. I am over the 10th graders. Ms. Andrews is over the 11th graders. And Mr. Poles is over the 12th graders. However, any AP is allowed to address any student. So even though you have a specific AP that will deal with your referrals, on some occasions you may be dealing with a different AP. The AP office is located across the hall from the cafeteria, so if you ever need anything, that is where we are located. Mrs. Halstead sits in there as the secretary and she will direct anything that you need to us. If you receive a referral, um, a few things may happen. Uh, you may be pulled out of class uh, by an officer just to bring you down, or you may receive a green pass from a pass runner. If you receive a green pass, just please report directly to the AP office, okay? We are just calling you down so that we can meet with you. If you're asked to leave the classroom, if your teacher, you know, you're causing a disruption and the teacher asks you to leave, you need to report to the AP office. That does not mean go around and wander. You have to go to the AP office. If you do not report to the AP office, further disciplinary action will be taken. We cannot have students roaming around the building unsupervised. Um, also, we are going to start running a class cut report so this will mean if you were not attending one of your classes that day, all APs will be receiving a report of those students. We will be calling you down to talk to you about where you were and why you were not in class. And some different things can happen. We'll start with parent contacts. It might move to merit halls, in school suspensions, etc. Okay, we need you to be in class. You are here to learn. Merit halls. <laughs> um, merit halls are the consequence for sweeps or referrals. They do need to be served in the, within the week that it is given. Merit halls can last from 30 to 60 minutes, and Merit Hall does take place Monday through Friday in room 166. Merit Hall starts at 2 o'clock. Once you get in and sign in, 
your time will begin. And now, Mr. Poles with homecoming eligibility. Homecoming eligibility. Well, we're excited about homecoming and you should be too. We want everybody involved. There are some things you have to do though to be eligible for homecoming. And here's what we need to remember. Homecoming eligibility begins next week and runs through September 24th. Remember, no suspensions. You can't be suspended during this time period. You cannot be failing more than one class to be eligible during this period. You cannot exceed 10 tardies. And finally, you cannot have more than five absences. So remember those numbers and we'll be ready for homecoming. We want everybody involved. And now, Mr. Morrison with our all school eligibility. All right, all school eligibility. It determines if you are able to attend school events. It's a nine week period working towards next quarter. Example, GP1 points determine GP2 eligibility. Again, all school eligibility means sporting events, football, volleyball, anything after school. We also dances, any production such as plays or concerts. Uh, students must present school ID to verify eligibility. Eligibility applies at Richards High School, Peoria High School, and Manual High School events. So again, if you're ineligible here at Richwoods, you cannot go to Manual High School with a friend and go to any of their events. Again, all three high schools will work together. And Ms. Adam, I was going to explain a little bit more on all school eligibility. Okay, for your eligibility, your base points are your GPA times 10. So for example, if you have a 2.8 GPA, you multiply it by 10 to get your points. So that would give you 28 points. Then you subtract one point for every tardy and for every absence. At the end, you must have a total of 18 points to be eligible. So this really focuses on your grades, your academics, and taking care of business. So however, there are some things that will make you automatically ineligible. If you receive a suspension for fighting, weapons, drugs, or alcohol, you will not be eligible for that quarter. If you have two or more suspensions, you are not eligible for the quarter. Or if you have two or more Fs, you will not be eligible for that given quarter. And now Ms. Andrews will talk about the eligibility booster. All right, at the beginning of each quarter, students who are ineligible have an extra opportunity to become eligible. There is a three week booster requirement, which includes only one tardy, no absences, no suspensions or major discipline issues during the first three weeks of the quarter. Students with the following exceptions cannot participate in the booster. Students who are failing two or more classes, students with two or more suspensions in a grading period, or students suspended for fighting, drugs, weapons, or alcohol. And now Mr. Poles with tutoring opportunities. As you can see in your screen, we have lots of tutoring opportunities. Again, remember, you've seen so many things today that tell you how important grades are and how important it is to be eligible. Please take a look at some of the offerings on the screen. Tutoring is offered on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays here at Richwoods. Please again take a look at where the tutoring offering uh, occurs, what room it's in, and what time. And make sure you're taking every opportunity. Have a discussion with your teachers have a discussion with the uh, tutors that are available here for you and make this year the best successful year you possibly can. And again, back to Mr. Morrison with some discipline data. All right, for our discipline data, you see grade nine, we had 64 referrals. At 10, we had 39 and 11, we had 23 and seniors who did the best with only 15 referrals. Mm -hmm. So freshmen, my team, we gotta uh, do better here and let's knock those referrals down. Awesome job, seniors. 10th graders, we got some work to do. Let's get after it. Not too bad, juniors, but we can do better. Up our attendance data for the year, we have Miss Adam out. Okay, so we've been in school now for, this is day 11. And our attendance is pretty good. We are at 94.7. Our goal is to be 95%. So please make sure that you are coming to school every day, going to class every hour, and being on time. It takes all of this to get to that 95% goal. All right, and finally, here are your parking reminders. 
please ensure that you have a 2021-22 parking pass. Please park in valid parking spots only. Do not park in painted spots. Failure to comply will result in discipline or loss of parking privileges. All right, everybody, that's lots of information, but all that information is here for you to make sure you have the best year. Remember, we've always said it's your school. Get involved, stay involved, and do the things you have to do to make this 21-22 the best year ever. We're happy to have you back. We're excited about the things coming up this year. Let's have a great year starting right now. Have a great day, everyone. Bye. Signing off.